what is up you guys and of course welcome to another Wi-Fi battle with Jostrel of course the Scarander and today we are facing Escalo in of course our LBA match week 5 and not gonna lie uh, seeing the team preview I was kind of relieved because I had so many base 100 mods not to deal with not seeing Victini not seeing Ferrothorn was extremely good for me because I really designed my team in a way that I should be able to deal with all of his 10 mods but obviously those two were the mods that I was gonna deal less effective with and uh, yeah just all in all here I can definitely say for to be very safe and say that this only self rocker is not fan which is extremely important uh, now I have a focus session Anatar for this game which Ice Beam mostly to deal with that I mean that's pretty much the size of it and I have Thunder Wave I'm gonna set up self rocks um, and Tyranitar is going to fall early, that's the point, that's the point of the Tyranitar. Exist for a few seconds, hurt the things that matters, and fall. Uh, now, ideally, if it leads to Staraptor, I know he's going to probably U-turn. If it goes for close combat, he's going to lose his Staraptor. Um, that's the only way he can play that thing. Uh, and of course, if it goes for U-turn, Dolphin is very prominent to come in. And if so, then I'm going to go for, of course, Ice Beam. And that should pressure him down quite a lot. Outside of that, I really hope I can just deal with the rest of his team without having myself locked in because my Kyogre, no, my Kelio is less effective in this game due to it being Scarfed and I don't really need to speed a lot of his team here. So that's kind of bad. It's going to be a high risk. So with that said, let's actually see how this battle went. So right, I am obviously very lucky here from the get-go. He will, of course, lead with the Staraptor. So yeah, felt really good about this. I really was... Uh, and also, for the guys who haven't been seeing this, I've been using a new recording device, or not recording device, but recording program, which sadly gave me these black borders. But, you know, it is where it is. At least, it looks better, which is the most important part. So anyway, he goes for U-turn. Uh, I went for an Ice Premier, hoping for a close cover from his side, or that he will bring the Dawn Fan. Now, I get the Dawn Fan, which is okay, because that pretty much means that I secure... Um, I, ugh, sorry, I secure that it doesn't get his rocks up. Now, he did tell me after the battle that it was Custa Perry, and I didn't press him to 25% for him to use that priority, which was unfortunate being at his 30. Then again, he should probably have led with that if that was the case, so that, that's tough. That's a tough play, and of course, it probably didn't feel that I was going to use a special oriented um, Tyranitar. Now, here's a situation where it's just going to be a complete lockdown. I want to lose my Tyranitar, and the only way for me of doing that properly is by actually staying in and just accepting that I'm gonna die, basically. So I want to scout out, of course, his sets. He's gonna go for foul play. Uh, I do believe we get a crit here. Uh, no, but it just—it still hurts. I mean, it's obviously a Tyranitar too, so has a lot of attack and a lot of defense. So, um, eh, it's give or take. But, but anyway, like I said, I'm basically gonna stay in here because I can't really switch out and I can't really hurt him either. I mean, I have nothing to hurt him with. Um, oh, I get a crit though. Nice. Um, but as you guys see, I'm really not doing anything, and uh, at this point, I do believe I can't go for a T-Wave, thinking that I'm probably going to go for a Wish Air, and uh, at least I get the chance to lock him down. Rex is not going to do anything this battle anyway. Uh, like I said, I am forcing him to fall. I really want this guy to die, um, because I really want to have a, sw um, sorry, um, a safe switch in here. So he does get me paralyzed, which was to be expected, of course. Now, he gets full paralyzation here, which is okay. Um, there's really nothing I can do, and I kind of felt that, right, he could your wish protect, probably have heal bell too. So, in the end, I might actually save my Tyranitar as a father, if anything, uh, because I'm definitely locking it in the game. Now, I do believe I go to Carexis here, which goes from Tentacruel. It was actually not supposed to do that. I was actually supposed to go to uh, Keldeo and force him out, but I felt that, alright, let's see how much damage we really do with a skull. I mean, it's... Let's face it, it's stab and all, and that's, um, that's crap. <laughs> now, he is fully paralyzed here, but at the same time, I do realize that this is not going to work, and he hasn't showed heal well yet. I kind of want to do it. Force him here to um, to get, or go for heal well and then get the chance to get burned, which would have been a superior play. I don't know why I didn't do that, but I go to Selfius, being, of course, Kelio, uh, to force him out, and he's going to show me the heal bell, which is truly unfortunate. Uh, because that means, of course, that Umbrian is not paralyzed anymore. I, it, it doesn't really help him too much, but at the same time, um, having him not paralyzed means, of course, that I can't get the chance of him missing or being fully paralyzed. I mean. So anyway, he's going to go to Bob. I went for the Secret Sword. Don't ask me why. 
I should definitely see this one coming, so I'm gonna switch out. I won't, don't wanna risk the Willow. I don't wanna have the residual damage. I basically want my Rex to die. Um, it would have been much better if I had Pursuit at this point, but at the same time, I'm not gonna leave a Skull. It just, uh, that is not happening. Um, and that's kind of the issue here, is that he has Bob, of course, the Jellicent, and um, being that I am Scarfed, I am actually pushed to a very tough position against the Jellicent, because I can't hit with Secret Sword, and I can't hurt it with Skull. Now, I'll go to Thunders. Thunders is easily a one-hit KO with Thunderbolt, and I had no reason not to go for it, basically. And he's gonna go to Lua, and uh, I'll say Thunders does a respectable amount of damage here. I mean, it's... It's no Oko or anything like that, but you know, it does, I do believe that's a 40-ish percent. So, I'm definitely feeling that, alright, I could go from the Thunderbolt, or I could predict that he's probably not gonna stay in. Now, Thunderbolt is in the range of killing him, but with Leftover, it's gonna be a chance, so I really wanna go for Focus Blast, not when I'm risking it. He thinks, of course, that I'm gonna go for Thunderbolt, and um, that's fair. And he's gonna go to his Dawn Fan, trying to get his last chance of getting a Brox, and of course, with Stealth Brox, I'm now pushing him into custom Fairy range. But I do land a Focus Blast, which is really nice, because that means that Charizard X is now probably his biggest threat this game. There is really nothing he can do here. Um, Thunders is really also making sure that any Scarfer can uh, can risk it. Now, he's going to bring Frostwing. I could have gone for a Focus Blast, yes. But at the same time, I didn't know whether or not this thing was Scarfed or not. And it was a very high risk for me to stay in. Also, I could miss Focus Blast. So, Selfius was the superior choice. And it goes for Ice Beam, which is okay. It's gonna show me just about how not specially oriented this guy is. And uh, I'm getting some nifty damage on me here, which is tremendous and awful in all kinds of ways. And um, here comes the Leftovers. Now, that's a good thing, because that means that my Charizard X will outspeed him and Oko him without a doubt. So he's gonna switch out going back to Bob. I went for Hidden Power Ghost this time. I really wanna see how much that does. I am fully aware of that it won't do enough. Uh, and as you guys will see here, it does respectable, but with the leftovers here, or sorry, um, with, no, he's not leftovers, what the hell? Anyway, I did switch out thinking he probably switched out to, to Umbreon, I believe. Uh, but he goes for Recover, which is unfortunate, but at the same time, I had no real risk of doing this switch because, let's, yes, let, let's just say it as it is, Thunderbolt is still an Oko, so it's done. Uh, <laughs> but yeah, I don't get why he stayed in, he could easily have gone to his Curem there, but I guess he kind of wanted to risk it and retaliate with a possible Ice Beam. Um, he's gonna bring better Brave Spam here, and I already knew that this thing was most likely Scar, but at the same time I don't want to get unnecessary damage on my... Uh, Thunder, so I'm better off going to Dew Blade, and here you guys are gonna see the strongest move that um, Star After have against my um, Dew Blade is the U-turn, and that does 5 HP. Yep, that's that that's really 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 cool. Now he will go to the Umbreon here, and I was thinking, all right, it isn't that amount of HP. Hmm, I should be able to KO him here with a Secret Sword, risking of course his Fall Play, which will do. Over 50% due to me being full investment in attack. So I take that risk. He's gonna go for foul play, and that does a shit ton of damage. Um, and I go for a secret sword, and it's just shy of a KO. It's just shy of a KO. And the thing is, with leftovers, I'm not sure that Shadow Sneak will take him out. And I don't wanna risk it because then I have nothing for the star after. I just, I'm not in that position anymore. I just, I was so close of killing him. So anyway, I go to Selfios, he's gonna go for Protect, trying to get more left towards recovery, which is fair, I believe. Um, would have been very risky if I went for Sword Sense there, but then again, probably wouldn't have done that if, <laughs> if that was the chance of it. Uh, so anyway, I do believe I lock myself into Scald, and the reason I do that is because I don't wanna, or rather, if I went for Secret Sword, there would be no ramification for his Salamence coming in. But with Scald, at least if he switched out to his Salamence, he had a risk of getting burned. So that was the better attack, but still the worst kind of position, because like I said, I'm still Scarfed. So I'm forced into tougher positions than I want to admit to. And here comes Frostwing, and I really didn't know how to deal with this thing. Um, and it didn't help that I knew it was a possible leftover, uh, or with leftovers, I probably was a subset, I would probably take that chance to pull that off now. Carixis is my only real switch in without uh, actually risking too much. Uh, but now, of course, the position where 
I need, and I mean I need to break this up before I fall. I'm definitely are in a sacking mood when it comes to Tentacruel here. Now, Earth Power will actually not do too much, and it's mostly due to his lack of investment, of course, in his special attack, because I have no special attack on this mon. I mean, I'm full defensive, and I would take that fairly well. Now, we are naturally bulky. Tentacruel is naturally bulky, but uh, still not as much as I was hoping for. So, yeah, at this point, uh, I'm just going to try to go for another Sludge Bomb and try to break the sub. I know I can take another Earth Power after Black Sludge Recovery, uh, which is okay. It actually is. Uh, now we barely take that one, so I might, that, that might actually have been quite risky, but I was thinking that at least it was, it did slightly over half, I should do slightly over half on him too. So anyway, the leftovers will keep coming, and of course it's going to go for another sub here, right? There is no reason for him not to do that, so I'm just going to switch into my Keldeo, and with a bit of luck here, actually pull off the Secret Sword. I am forced to go for Secret Sword now, and I'm not a big fan of that, I really am not. Uh, so there's a sub, like I said, there's really nothing to it. Um, if anything, that was probably his best play. And uh, I was really hoping for a situation here where he was going to force himself to hurt me. Uh, because if he does that, then I can actually on that switch out bring in my Charizard X. And I should be in a slightly better position. Um, now, he'll go for a scary phase. I'm not going to lie, that's ingenious because that means that I'm slower than him, which is okay. Uh, it also means that he can set up another sub, which I felt, alright, he's probably going to do that. There is no reason he wouldn't do that from this position. Uh, and yeah, that, that there we go. Uh, there is the other sub, so I go for, the, of course, the Secret Sword. And now he has an amount of HP where he can't go for another sub. He needs to attack me. There is no way he can pull this thing out differently. He's either that or switching out. And uh, if he switch out, he's going to switch out to Salamence, which, of course, can't set up against Tentacruel without risking Ice Beam. So I'm thinking this is the best play. He's either going to kill the Tentacruel, which would be fine, or he's going to um, switch, into, switch into Salamence. But he's going to kill my Crixis, which, like I said, it's completely fine, because that only means one thing, and one thing only. I should have bring Kelio and lock myself into Ice Wind. I don't do that. I bring freaking Charizard X. I felt, oh, but it's time. It's time. I need to do this. Uh, now, I, he's probably going to have uh, Dragon Pulse or Outrage, which means that I can't set up. I shouldn't set up. Uh, it would have been too risky. So I'm just going to settle for Dragon Claw and, what do you know? <laughs> done and done. Uh, <laughs> so that's, of course, the secure him out of the way, so no biggie. Um, so here comes the oh, what, Green Denny. Uh, I'm sorry, I can't uh, say that. Uh, so I decided here to... Okay. Fair enough. Uh, I'll just switch into my Dewblade. Dewblade can definitely not do a whole lot to it, but depending on what it goes for attack, I could KO it in return. Now he's gonna go for Dragon Dance. Here's the thing, he already know I'm Scarfed, so he needs to go for second Dragon Dance to outspeed my Keldeo or he will lose. But the other change is that if he goes for another Dragon Dance, Jarabol will Oko him, or rather to one Dragon Dance it will Oko him. And he goes for second, and that's GG. Sadly, his setup is what kills him, and that's really, really, really sad. Now, I do... Uh, I heard from him afterwards that I had a berry to reduce dragon damage. He was thinking about Lumberry. My ultimate response to his uh, Salamence would have been Keldeo, first of all. Uh, and if that hadn't worked, I would have probably gone to Sal or to... Uh, sorry, to Funders and tried to shut him down if I would fail with that, if I would miss Ice win. But yeah, I probably had a game in the bag from that point on. So, all right, at least some afterthoughts here. I mean, with all said and done, um, there were situations that could have ended badly. And depending on how I would treat, of course, the setup against the elements, let's say he did go for an earthquake there and actually took out my Dewblade, um, or Flame for that matter, I would have been put in a position where I might not have gone to kill you, I might have tried to go for Thunders. And uh, would you get to know that he wasn't Lumberry? But that would probably have been my biggest misplay had that come to fruition that he had a lot very set against me because my series of play was basically Thunderous Paralyzed and go to uh, my Charizard X and actually finish it off with a Dragon Claw. Uh, now I don't do that first of all because of the situation I was pushed into. Uh, that situation of course being that um, Dragon Claw after an Intimidate was not a uh, wanted KO anymore. It was basically a 70% chance 
or I did 70%, so he would have survived that after rocks, which is actually kind of dangerous to say into, because let's just face it, an outrage would have killed me, uh, so I was not feeling safe sending into that position. Now, I could have gone for Dragon Dance against him, yes, but at the same time, now we do know that there was a doubly Wakanberry, which reduced Dragon Damage, which would have meant that I would do 50% and he would have KO'd me in return. Now, we could probably play around that too. There, there are situations here where I do believe I would come out on top anyway, but it wasn't too far off. And uh, I do believe the start of thing there, they didn't start with Don Fan, uh, really hurt my opponent a whole lot there. Had he started with Don Fan, he might actually pull that off. He might have, he would have gotten rocks up. Now, obviously, I didn't need Charizard X as much as I hoped I would have needed him to, because I'm, I was avoided a tougher situation. Uh, Kelio being scarred was both a blessing and a curse this game. Um, definitely, I, mean, I don't like using scar first. I don't like being locked in. Uh, if it isn't for more damage, and Kelio really was showcased there that the punch ability in the mon was there, but it was walled by too many things to do that efficiently, and I almost lost because of that. So definitely gonna say that I think that uh, it worked well this game, but it could have might as well have backfired. Uh, and of course, for everybody who's been watching, make sure to look at Escalos both battle of this game, also his channel. Make sure to subscribe to him. He's a tremendous battler. A uh, bit of a lucky this time, but I'm sure he'll make it back in no time. And we are 3 for 2 now, and uh, which is great. I don't know how the other ones are doing, but as of right now, we are at least in the playoff spot, which is... We have not been a part of that since um, since we lost our first game. So, finally, like, we're actually showing showcase that we actually are good for this league anyway, because we have had some suck-ass battles. Um, but yeah, finally I win. Um, hope to continue that trend because we actually need them. Uh, for everybody who's been watching, of course, thank you for doing just show. Well, so, uh, and of course, leave a like and all that jazz. And I'll see you in the next video. Until then, guys, take care. Bye.